Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful that we can now instantly snap great photos and save them forever. But why doesn't anyone talk about where all those photos go? The thousands and thousands of photos I've scattered across my old computers, phones, and cloud services make me want to rip my hair out. And looking for a specific one? Forget it. But here's the exciting news. The biggest names in tech want to help me clean up the mess. Oh yeah, and you too. Apple's Photos and now Google's Photos, which was just released last week, want to put all of our photos in the cloud, make them easier to find, and make them look better. So which one should you go with? Well, that really depends on what devices you own and how much you're willing to spend on cloud storage. The first thing these services do better than most is help you suck up the thousands of photos you've collected and then organize them. Both let you automatically copy photos from specific folders, hard drives, even cameras. Overall, I preferred Apple's Mac app for uploading since I could see the progress of my photos. Google's uploaders for Mac and Windows just tell you they're working. You have to go to the website to see your shots. On the iPhone and Android, though, I preferred Google's app for easy viewing and uploading. Next to that, Apple's iPhone app feels disorganized and outdated. And since both of these services store your photos in the cloud, not on your phone or computer, Google has the real edge on pricing, too. Google offers free unlimited storage for all your photos. The catch? It compresses all the images and downsizes shots over 16 megapixels. If you're not into that, you can pay to store full-res images. Google charges $10 a month for one terabyte. For the same fee, Apple only gives you half that, and Apple has no free unlimited offering. But the killer feature is search. Apple lets you search by year, location, or keyword, and by person if you turn on the facial recognition and assign a name to each face. Google doesn't yet let you search by a person's name, but it's way better at facial recognition. It even knew this old photo was of my mom. And that's just the start. You can search for photos by keyword without ever tagging a photo. Cavapoo brings up photos of my puppy, though so does a search for a Labradoodle. Either way, the whole thing is crazy fun. Another thing the services do is help your photos look better. Both provide basic filters and tools on mobile, and Apple provides more advanced editing tools in its Mac app. But Google goes beyond editing with automatic photo tricks. I'm addicted to seeing what GIFs it's made from my clusters of photos. It also creates collages and quick videos, and you can make your own. Between those perks, the pricing, the search, I'm going with Google Photos. I've just had an awesome time using the service and rediscovering old photos. That said, I'll understand if Mac owners with iPhones and iCloud accounts want to go with Apple Photos. Whichever you pick, you'll know exactly where all your photos are at all times.